past the halfway point of this Rivals Tour as we head over to Koopa Cape, where the blue team is up 162 to 130, but the red team looking to mount a comeback down by just 32. And they're off, Birdo with the quick lead after placing first on the last course. Player one sticking behind the starting block, spinning the tires a little bit as Birdo goes around the first turn. Player one now off and going through the first line of item boxes. About a quarter lap behind everyone else. Getting a bullet. Going underneath the cave. As Drybones now takes the lead in the river area, getting a lot of speed from that raging river as he now heads down the pipe. Player one now just entering the river area, but with a bullet in tow. Still the first lap, so there's no sense of urgency here for player one. Even going off the course a little bit. Now heading into the pipe. Drybones crosses the finish line, heading into the second lap. Player one now trying to avoid the electronic zappers in the pipe. Catching up to some of his colleagues just behind Rosalina for 10th. And Funky Kong now in 12th. And just to avoid going over the waterfall, player one had to use the bullet right there. Clearly not where he wanted to use it, but it was a necessity as that puts him now into third and in second place. Drops behind a little bit from Peach there. And now a lightning bolt is just going to ruin any intentions that he might have had of getting in the first place right here. As he gets into the river area, decides to go off track a little bit, go for a jump. Still no urgency here, as he's now hitting a rock. Just sloppy racing by player one. Heading into the pipe. Now in eighth place with Peach, and Burro ahead of him. Toadette with the lead for Team Blue. Heading into the final turns of the second lap. Player one looking to make some moves, probably coming up here on the next river. Player one now using those mushrooms. I'm not sure why, that's a little odd. And there he just hits Luigi and goes over. Off course, loses all of his items and he bumps back to ninth place. Now in eighth, with Birdo in first. Birdo the leader, ace in the pack here. As player one in seventh, needing an item, trying to avoid a star. Some very questionable motives here by player one in this fifth course of the Rivals Tour. Using the golden mushroom to cut across the river area, that's only gonna do so much help getting him into fourth place, but that's still a position to win this race. Now in second place with a POW, Birdo in first, and the POW just pushes him past the Zappers. Still gonna drop him back to fourth, fifth, sixth, and the Zapper gets him. So now player one has no chance of getting in the first place here with a red shell in tow. And that bomb is not going to help matters. And then another item, and oh my goodness, this keeps getting worse for player one, dropping into 11th, now in 12th place. And that's where player one is going to finish. After a wild sequence of events there on the third lap, pushes him all the way back, and a huge win by Red. And that's not the way the blue team wanted to finish this race, but Red capitalized on the blue team's mistakes and came away with the win. Now being down just by 11 points, Red gets a 47 to 28 win. And now we're gonna take it down to the game room for post-race reaction. That's how you fall apart in a quarter lap. So now player one has no chance of getting in the first place here with a red shell in tow. And that bomb is not going to help matters. And then another item, and oh my goodness, this keeps getting worse for player one. That was a frustrating race. It kind of turned out the way I thought it would up until that last quarter lap. We still have an 11 point lead, but that's a little bit more on shaky ground with three courses left. We can't give up many more points.
Hi folks, Kenny O'Shaughnessy here on the call. The next race is coming up, but be sure to subscribe for more Mario Kart Wii Team Versus.